before we get going, we need to issue a, a very serious public service announcement. We have strong reason to believe that there is a thieving possum. But my bikini is gone. And then there's footprints. Looks like they've been dragging something. <laughs> yes, Brad. Oh, thank you very much. Sashimi is fresh as it gets. Yeah, nice. You can see Jack's head just coming out of the nest. Just wait there for a sec. Yeah. Just be on croc watch, friend. All right, off to the next camp. The tides in this area are the largest in the entire country. They can change up to 13 meters in height. So picture this, it's low tide, you're standing on the water's edge. About six hours time, that water level can be up 13 meters over your head, the size of a decent coconut tree. Makes getting around in a fiberglass boat pretty tricky, especially when trying to find a decent campsite, avoid the rocks, and get ashore without the crocodiles getting you. And big tides equals big currents. Combined with a poorly charted area where there's unmarked rocks and sandbars and even entire islands popping up, it keeps us on our toes the whole time we're in the boat. But the remoteness, natural beauty and red hot fishing makes it all worth the effort I reckon. Oh, friend, look here, look, friend, look here. Oh, all right, we're gonna, oh, look at him go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect cast. What's this school of fish coming out? Get him, chasing it again. Look at him, look at him. Oh, coming, they're, they're coming. coming, they're coming. They're coming. Keep going. Yeah, just a trip out there. Oh, look at our friend, look. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're hungry. Oh, are you filming it? Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> mate, you're not meant to get it. <laughs> get off, mate. Too fast for me. See yeah. you, mate. Oh, good God. I think we're in a pretty fishy spot here, friend. Alright, this is yours. If that pulls, you pull harder, okay? What if I get a crocodile? <laughs> it's your problem. You get a crocodile, you gotta deal with it. There is um, a crocodile just behind these rocks here we've seen popping his head up, so it's a very real possibility. Fish on. Oh, yep. Oh, he's having a run. <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. There's a bit of a mess at the back. <laughs> Did you see what it was? I thought it was a chihuahua. I don't know. That wasn't meant for you, Mr. Shark. Oh, we got a shark. Right. Let him go, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick. Oh, off he goes. Oh, bugger. As soon as you cast, Eddie. Good looking spot. There's just these schools of trevally that are like piranhas, and it doesn't give you a chance to get to like the hoped finger mark or barrow because these trevally just nail it. See you, mate. Right. Let's do his tuna sticks. Yeah, we're just heading over to the next island, and it's so good when you've got a pre cooked lunch. Yeah! 
Yeah, yeah. You got him? Yeah. Uh, some... <laughs> tuna! A long tail tuna. Amazingly well, Fran, so what have we got there? Steaks? Yeah. So we've pulled into another pretty bloody magical bay here. This one, the thing that's surprising about it, check this out. So the sand the, is like this awesome white color, something you see on like Whitehaven Beach or the Gold Coast of Australia. It's, it's, um, it's pretty special. So we're gonna set up camp here. So many things I wanna do, I wanna fly the drone, set up a time-lapse. Fran's trying to catch food, but I'll just walk you through how we're gonna set up camp. We'll get a bit of a fire going here. It's our rug with camera gear. A um, bit of tucker box up here is where we'll roll our swag. All right, and right on cue, hopefully Fran can catch a fish. She's away. Attack. <laughs> no, no. You're in trouble, dude. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good trick. Yeah. It's a new dance move. <laughs> So what do you think they are, Jack? I think they're a little marsupial. Like what kind? A little possum looking thing. Oh, possum looking thing. Find a little possum looking thing. <laughs> You're a bit a bit shocked this morning. <laughs> so a little possum or marsupial or whatever that is. The one that we showed you the footprint from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Has come. And the only thing I had out was my <laughs> black bikini. Yeah, so all we can see this morning is that my bikini is gone. And then there's footprints. And it looks like they've been dragging something. Show me the footprints. <laughs> This is like a crime scene investigation here. Definitely, hey, so these are the little paw prints. And then you can see him dragging something that's far too big for his body. And did you follow it all the way up to the bushes? Yeah, do you want to come with me? Yeah, let's go. So keep your eyes out for a possum wearing a black bikini. <laughs> He's a thief. <laughs> we demand justice. Oh, that's the audacity. And he goes up here. Oh yeah, yeah, he definitely dragged it out on the hot case of a, a thieving possum. All right, where do we go now? Go up. Here, go up. There it is. That's it. Oh yeah. 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 And then, see, there's like a couple of caves there. Oh, this might be a dead end. So we're all packed up, about to leave, but before we get going, we need to issue a, a very serious public service announcement for the safety of everyone out there. We have strong reason to believe that there is a thieving possum um, amongst us. If you see a possum wearing a black bikini, he's not to be trusted. We have reason to believe he's very dangerous. He may be cute, he may be sneaky, but whatever you do, do not let him into your camp. He is, um, he's a force to be reckoned with and he's got one up on us this time so if you do see a possum in a black bikini please report it to authorities
probably the FBI as soon as you can. An eagle nest here. That's the mom. Jack has dropped me off. And I'm going to jack that eagle nest up there. Hopefully the mom left. Oh my god! That's so cute. Right, I'm gonna get out of here before it gets me. I don't know if I got enough footage, but I was too scared. Do you want to go up and check it out? After watching for a while, we noticed the mother osprey had left the nest to go fishing. And we saw the opportunity to get you guys up close and personal to witness this pretty special nature interaction. Yeah. You can see Jack's head just coming out of the nest. The eagle is coming back. I can hear the chicks in there. Well, it looks like some bait busting up over there. <laughs> yes, Brad! Yes, nice! Oh, he smashed it right at the boat, eh? Yeah. Yes. He missed it and then the other one came. Did you see the splash? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. How's your drag? You happy with it? Oh, 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 yes, Brad. Yes, it's a big one. I hope it's a show you didn't get it. It had a, a few casts. It kept having a go at it, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just went to get the camera. I was a second too late. I thought I wasn't going to get it. Cause... Yeah, it would just come to the boat and then... And oh, then you're just... up. Just watch that propeller. Yeah. Don't break. Don't break. Please don't break. Jeez, it's big, Fran. It's really big. Get around to this side if you can. It's not really big, but... Oh, it's big for a little, little rod. rod. <laughs> there it is. All right, I'm gonna... Yeah! <laughs> that's awesome! Yes! Nice! <laughs> oh, that's the perfect yeah, eating size. Fran, that's such a good catch. Nice mackerel, eh? Yeah. So we're gonna have for lunch ceviche. Yep. I was looking for it, right? And... I don't know, but dinner, yeah? <laughs> We've got a couple of hours to decide. Yeah. Oh, well done. 
Thank you. That little rod, hey? Yeah. It's catching all the fish. Yeah. Well done. All right. Start filling it now, eh? Oh, thank you very much. Sashimi, as fresh as it gets. Mm -mm. Yeah, nice. Pretty surreal to be back out here. You know, we weren't sure whether this part of the great adventure was all over with the, the weather we had and the leg infection, but, um, you know, just so thankful the weather's come good. We're back out here and, um, you know, we can share this place with you guys, so. The great adventure's not over yet. Almost done, eh, Fran? Yeah. Talk sure. us through your secret recipe here. Lemons. Yeah. As usual. Yeah. Heaps of salt. Yeah. Olive oil. Nice. And one orange. Nice. That'll keep the scurvy away. Yeah. Awesome. How long should we leave it for? Oh, you are hungry. <laughs> Eat it now. <laughs> yeah, it's better a couple of hours, but we'll give it 20 minutes if you want. <laughs> All right. All right, let's have another crack. <laughs> so I thought I just filmed a really good segment catching yeah. a back roll. Yes, Fred, I got but it. I realized it was in time lapse, so you guys are going to have a a time lapse of a mackerel being caught and it might not fully make sense but anyway is what it is amateur youtube filming at its finest freshly caught mackerel ceviche with onions lemon lime salt huh yeah well done let me know how it is we've got a hand line fishing here with our foot so if we have a bit of action, you guys will be the first to know. We'll put the cameras back on. We're heading around the corner to go and find our next spot to camp. We're going to try and get up a mangrove creek and camp this time. Uh, a bit of a change of scenery. Let's see how we go. to come set up camp up here for the night. All right, the crazy thing about where we are is the tide is gonna change 10 meters from now at high tide. It's gonna drop 10 meters to, to low tide. So it could make this the best anchorage ever. It'll mean that we're, we've got this like private little swimming pool with a safe anchorage, or it could potentially be really bad and leave the boat on the rock. So. I'm gonna try and set up a pulley system that'll allow us to bring the, the boat in and out. Um, we'll see how we go. All right, chuck the biggest anchor you've got over. This is gonna act like our mooring block. Down she goes. That's hit the bottom there. All right, let's see how that holds. Cool, pull me in, I'll turn this off. Yeah, now try pull me out. I think that's gonna be good. All good. Pull me in, please.
Put that flame going. Perfect day. Eh? Yeah. Just peeling away so nicely. Yum. Happy? Oh, so good, Fran. So nice. Pumpkin cooked in our foil and Spanish mackerel on the grill. Jack likes to. <laughs> That's the best bit. <laughs>